Bevacizumab right now is approved for use in ovarian cancer because it's very expensive, because it has uh, some pretty significant side effects potentially, and also because the improvement in outcome is, is somewhat marginal. It's not used universally in the United States. It's used in some instances in Europe, but not in the United States as much. It certainly is being used in the recurrent setting, uh, but in this study we're looking at patients with a primary diagnosis of ovarian cancer and whether adding bevacizumab to standard therapy improves the outcome. That molecular subtype, subtyping could potentially predict which patients will respond to this drug bevacizumab. And that's important because patients, we, we would like to give the bevacizumab to patients who respond to the drug, not to those who won't respond to the drug. If we give bevacizumab to patients who don't respond to the drug, all they're doing is uh, having higher costs and more toxicity really without any benefit. So it's very important to be able to determine who responds to this ahead of time. When I'm seeing a patient in clinic, I don't care how well bevacizumab does in 100 patients, I care how well that's gonna improve the patient outcome for the patient who's sitting in front of me. So that's what the study's about, is about determining which patients are more likely to benefit from bevacizumab, not in a population, but individualized treatment. We had four different groups that contributed to this project. One, the MRC, which performed the initial trial in the United Kingdom. AGO in Germany, which collected the samples. Illumina in California, which did the sequencing. And then the data analysis was done at the Mayo Clinic. So we wouldn't have been able to do any of this without four of, all four of those groups contributing, so that's very important. It's very important that our results are corroborated in other groups of patients. So our findings uh, today are very significant. We're really excited about them, but they really need to be corroborated in another group of patients before they can use them.